Welcome to the Manitoba Barrier Culture Museum. This is located at two kilometers south on highway number 34, south of number one highway, located at Austin, Manitoba. We are gonna come and show you guys what is an old time museum that is yesteryear farming and village and life back in the day before modern technology came and took a hold of everybody. Here's the entrance to the Homesteader Village here at the Manitoba Threshman's Reunion Stampede in Austin, Manitoba at the Manitoba Agricultural Museum. Uh, the village here represents more of an older village that is uh, fairly busy. This village has a lot of different things. They have a couple schools, uh, churches, as well as a general store, the livery feed and stable, the blacksmith shop, uh, the Dominion land surveying. Uh, there's also a lawyer's office and a post office and a press and everything else for papers and stuff. So this would be a fairly prosperous village back in the day. Um, various different things kind of happen through all the different stores. Uh, the general store, uh, we can explain later, as well as the blacksmith shop. There is everything here that kind of a small town would need to sustain life and go from there. Trains or uh, horse trail, horse wagons would bring in supplies to the various different stores all across the country and then they would dis distribute it out to their customers and clients in the rural area. Uh, this is a blacksmith shop here at the Manitoba Agricultural Museum. Uh, lots of various things happen in this building. During the show, we end up building a lot of like rings using horseshoe nails, so they bend it all and they end up selling them. They burn some post or signs made out of uh, a hot iron. They cut your burn your letters in, so they have various different posters and signs for people to have. Um, during the yesteryear, when the blacksmith shops were, there was a lot of horseshoes made and uh, harnesses and various things that farmers needed, as well as tools. They all did that for the various different farmers. They come in and say what they want, and the blacksmith would build them to what they kind of need. Uh, blacksmiths have kind of evolved and changed into more mill workers and welders and everything nowadays. And they do—they're not as general trades; they're more specifics. And uh, it's kind of the big thing about blacksmiths now. The general store here. Uh, the general store was one of the main essentials of every small town. People would come and buy their every need pretty much from a general store as well from food to coveralls to clothes to overalls to various different parts of equipment and things that they had to bring in off of a train or off of a wagon trains that came into the, the small town. The general store is very important to the, the small towns. Uh, currently during the show, uh, in the general store they sell all kinds of ice cream and treats and stuff for kids and it's a nice cool place that everybody likes to enjoy because who doesn't like an ice cream cone? So. This is the uh, air school. Uh, when I was a little child coming to the Manitoba Threshman's Reunion in Stampede, I actually came to school here every morning for about an hour. We were taught on the pen and uh, the slate and we would actually have to do notes and dictation and math and everything else. So we went to school for about eight years type of thing when we were little till we got too big to go to school and we had to go work in the fields. Um, now they usually do demonstrations here on a slate and how you actually had to do notes. There is no iPads in these schools, so they're very old. This is pre-iPad anyway. This is the Carruthers House here. Uh, this is one of the main buildings of the Manitoba Agricultural Museum. This house was donated by Don Carruthers. He donated a quarter section of land to the Manitoba Agricultural Museum in 1954, and that's kind of started this whole museum. There's a lot of other buildings and stuff, barns that he's had here that we've kind of built around, and we've built our village, and we have our grandstands for our vintage parade and our ladies activities buildings and all kinds of things that we've built on this quarter section of land that was donated to us by Don Carruthers. This is one of the many steam engines we have at the Manitoba Agricultural Museums that is actually running right now. Not many museums have a working steam engine that can actually be moving and pulling and doing all kinds of things. The steam engines were used from the late 1800s to 1920 area. These tractors were mainly used for threshing, plowing, road building, clearing, forestry, and power mills. This specific engine is a 1916 JI Case 2265. It has 22 drawbar horsepower and 65 flywheel horsepower. This engine was owned and operated by Don E. Carruthers, uh, founder of the Manitoba Agriculture Museum. At one point during this engine's life, it was actually used to help build Highway Number 10 through Riding Mountain National Park. Uh, during the Threshman's Reunion and Stampede, we will be using this steam engine to actually steam corn for people to buy and eat. And it is one of the best things you'll ever experience in your life, to steam corn from a, thresh or from a steam engine. Thank you for coming on our stroll through time on farming in the yesteryear. This is how your grandfather used to farm. Please join us on September 16th to, for Open Farm Day. 
we will be having a threshing demonstration as well as a live steam engine running. I can guarantee most people have not seen a live steam engine running. It's a great thing to see. It's a miraculous piece of engineering and equipment of yesteryear. So come join us September 16th. We look forward to seeing you. Have a great day.